Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Gary Steele, the creator of The Ultimate Success School, and I'm here to share with you that making money online or making more money in any business has absolutely nothing to do with what the internet marketing gods, the internet marketing gurus want you to believe that it has to do with. It has nothing to do with how many of their hundred dollars, few hundred dollars, thousand dollars, thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars marketing programs that you own. It has absolutely nothing to do with how much of that stuff you own, how much of it you have. It has nothing to do with any of that. It has everything to do with how you feel about you on the inside of you. That is it. The most insignificant part of making more money and making money online, making money on the internet, the most insignificant part is the mechanics, the tools, which is what they're selling, the how-tos, the how to make more money. That is the most insignificant part of what it takes for you to make more money. The biggest part, the greatest, glorious, biggest part is how you feel about you on the inside. Period. That is it. That's everything. I've been marketing for 25 years. Of course, I started way before the internet. And I've spent the last 15, 20 years, somewhere in that range, particularly the last 15 years, helping other people change how they feel about themselves on the inside so that they're able to make more money on the outside. Because until you change how you feel about yourself on the inside, nothing's changing on the inside. It doesn't matter what it is, it's not changing until you love more of who you are inside, period. It's real simple. It comes down to three things. It comes down to, number one, love what you hate. My writing's horrible. My spelling's worse. So we'll just have to deal with it. Love what you hate. Believe that you can. And number three is, and this one's the absolute most important, is to feel worthy of the results. So let me ask you, if you're like me, you own many $100 softwares, $1,000 softwares, or multiple $1,000 blueprints or formulas, the secret on how to make more money online. Has any of it changed your results? Has any of it changed how much money you make? No. Why? Because until you love what you hate about you, until you believe that you can, again, until you believe that you can, nothing's changing. And until you feel worthy, absolutely worthy of the results, nothing's changing. You've probably owned tons of these softwares, these magic formulas, these blueprints, and they're just sitting there. They are tools to be used to make money, to drive traffic and so on, but why aren't you using them? Why hasn't it changed? Why? Because you don't love what you hate, you don't believe that you can, and you haven't felt worthy of the results. So let's take love what you hate. Okay, so it's love what you hate about you. Okay, so I grew up, uh, I grew up middle class. I grew up in a small town. There's about 500 people in our high school. When I was going to high school there, one traffic light in the center of town. Okay, working class, middle class. My mom was a school teacher for 32, 35 years. My dad worked for East Ohio Natural Gas. It was a union job. He worked that job for about 30 years. We were literally about right in the middle of my small town. There were people that made more than us, and there was people that made less than us, okay? So growing up, my parents conditioned me. Conditioned me. Now, it was, wasn't intentional. It was absolutely unintentional, and as all our parents are. But if you're here, you probably came from a working-class family. You obviously weren't born with money, or else you wouldn't be looking for a way to make more money, and so on. So... We're conditioned by our parents, and it's our parents, our grandparents, aunts, uncles, anything like that, but it's completely unintentional. 
They do not intentionally set out to essentially sabotage us so that we'll stay where it was that we were raised. Okay, They didn't do it intentionally, but it just happens, right? So in this small town that I grew up in, my parents would be, oh, they're rich. Like if we'd see somebody driving a really nice car or they lived in a really nice, oh, they're rich. Or I would hear from my dad, he's a salesman. Right? Or he's a salesperson, she's a salesman, whatever, salesman. So think about this. Love what you hate about you. So if inside of you, you hate rich people because you were conditioned by your parents unintentionally, but they condition you. If you hate rich people, what are the odds that you are ever going to break through and become rich? What are the odds? Pretty slim, right? So if you're going like this, oh, they're rich. But that's not me. They're rich. That's not me. I'd never be like that. I'm not like that. You're literally disowning this and you're pushing it away from yourself. You're saying, I'm not like that. If that's how you feel deep down inside about rich people, are you ever going to be rich? The odds are extremely slim, right? Or it's like this. Bill Gates, Oprah, any other great, grand, and glorious wealthy, rich person that you can think of, you set them up on a shelf, way up here, way up high, and you're like, oh, I'm not as good as them. They're so great. They're so wonderful. They're so grand, right? They're great, grand, and glorious, and wonderful. I could never be like that. So you're disowning it this way, and you're like, I'm not good enough to be that, right? I'm not that. Okay, so that's a part of yourself that you're disowning, and you're not necessarily hating that. You're actually infatuating with that, but you still haven't loved it in yourself, right? So until you love what you hate about you, if you hate rich people, the odds are you're not becoming one, right? The next one, believe that you can. Okay, same thing. Growing up, middle class, working class, middle class. Conditioned by my parents to believe that I, not that I can, but that I can't. You can't do this. You can't do that. Right? So this entrepreneurial bug, this entrepreneurial spirit has been in me since as long as I can remember. I can remember playing business as a kid. Most people are playing other stuff, but I set up a business and I had a desk and an office and I was playing business, six, seven, eight, nine years old, I'm playing business, okay, we had this back room on our house, it was basically a catch-all store, all, and there was a cool set of shelves there, I was back there playing business, so, but growing up, hearing the words, you can't do that, and you can't do this, right, or you don't want to be rich, you know, you don't want to be like those people, so, I bought my first no money down real estate by the time I was 19 years old, and I was foreclosed on and bankrupt by the time I was 20 years old, right? Because, not because I believed I could, but because deep down inside, I was conditioned to believe I can't. So again, until you believe that you can, and the, the key word here, the key, the key to this is... You, you're going to hear that over and over. You are the key until you believe that you can. Nothing's changing in your life. It doesn't matter how many of those thousands of dollar programs, those thousands of dollar softwares, those how many hundreds of dollars little magic softwares that are going to go out and find you the magic bullet of traffic, whether it's $100, $1,000 software or you buy a $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 blueprint or um, what's the other word? Formula that's going on out there that's going to be the magic bullet that's going to save you and make you tons of money. Baloney. Until you believe that you can, nothing's changing. Doesn't matter how many of those. Uh, internet marketing gods, gurus, that you buy their stuff that they want you to believe that the answer is external to you and that the answer is actually in their programs and their products and their magic formulas. Doesn't matter how many of those you buy, until you believe that you can, nothing's changing. Nothing. And thirdly, feel worthy of the results. Feeling worthy. 
Who in your life, when you were a kid growing up and you were in your imprint, your formative years, your imprint was being laid down inside you of how you're going to live your life, who made you feel not worthy? Mine was my grandfather. Actually, I had two grandfathers that, that kind of made me feel that way. When one in particular was my grandfather, and it was actually on my, my birth mom, the mo my mom that committed suicide when I was just about two years old, it was her father that made me feel unworthy. Tremendously. I mean, he did it to a lot of people. I wasn't the only one. But he made me feel unworthy. So who in your life made you feel unworthy? That you're not worthy of almost living. Who made you feel that you're not worthy of results beyond where you're at? Who made you believe that you can't and that you're not worthy? Who was that? So think about it. Until you feel worthy inside, deep down inside, that you begin to believe that you are worth more than what you're willing to settle for, how many of those gurus' programs do you have to buy to change your life? You can buy all of them. Every single time they come out with something, it doesn't matter. It's not changing in your life. That's not the answer. The answer does not exist externally to you. The answer exists internally, inside. How do you feel about you? I am an absolute master. I've spent the last 15 years helping people begin to believe to love what they hate, to believe that they can't, and feel worthy of the results at my Quantum Breakthrough workshops, my Quantum Breakthrough seminars, it's, you come there, I will, either myself or one of my trained facilitators are going to sit down with you personally, walk you through this, open your heart, teach you, show you, walk you through in a visceral, a literal visceral experience that you feel this shift happen at a quantum breakthrough seminar. So my answer when all my consulting clients are in, the, in our program, Ultimate Success School, people have a problem, my answer is always get the breakthrough. Get the breakthrough as fast as you can. Get the quantum breakthrough as fast as you can. We are literally giving it away to our Ultimate Success School members. We're giving it away. So become a member. Become a member of Ultimate Success School. It's 25 bucks. It's literally 25 bucks for you to get in the door, step inside, start going through my videos, going through our courses, see if what we have can change your life, and then it's going to cost you maybe, I think it's a couple hundred bucks to get the breakthrough. Get there as soon as you can so that we can help you love what you hate, believe that you can, feel worthy of the results on the inside of you. And here's another beautiful thing about what it is that we teach is we actually empower you with the tools that not only do you have this experience at Breakthrough, which for most people is absolutely life-changing in the moment, that moment their life changes forever. I can't even share with you how many times that I've had a client that has come to me for consulting, private consulting, I walk them through the process, I walk them through opening their heart, healing their wounds so that they can get started living a life that they absolutely love to live, and with a matter of weeks, they're making sometimes 10 times the amount of money that they were making before they came. That's how powerful what it is that we have to share with you at Quantum Breakthrough. 25 bucks. Get in. Just get in. Check me out. See if I'm full of crap. Like, I literally welcome the challenge. Come challenge me on what I have. Do you know why? Because it has yet to fail for people who do the work. Ultimate Success School, we're here to help you open your heart, heal your wounds, get started living the life you absolutely love to live so that you can make more money loving what you hate, believing that you can, feeling worthy of the results so that we can help you change viscerally how you feel about you on the inside. That's where the answers are. Get in, get to Quantum Breakthrough, and I will see you there soon.